This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can remove an object from a photo using Affinity Photo. The example image I'll be using in this demonstration is this picture of an eagle here flying in the sky. I will be removing this eagle from the image, and all we will be left with is a blue sky with some clouds. So in order to do this sort of thing, Affinity Photo provides us with a specific tool called the Inpainting Brush Tool, which is perfect for this sort of thing. It can be accessed over here. It's hidden beneath the Healing Brush Tool. If you hold a click over that, you should see a, a sub-menu with all of these different tool options. We're looking for the Inpainting Brush Tool, which is located right here. And what you want to do now is just zoom in on your subject here. I'm going to hold Control and roll up the mouse wheel a couple of times, and I'm going to press down the mouse wheel and move the mouse to, to center the page back up on the viewfinder there. The idea here is you want to zoom in on the subject as much as possible, but while at the same time keeping the entire subject within the viewfinder here. Okay, so once you've done that, you should notice you have this brush on the screen here. I'm going to use my left and right bracket keys to make this brush bigger and smaller. You're going to want this brush about this size right here. We're going to be painting over this subject here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag to start painting. And we're holding the click the whole time. We want to make sure we do not release this click until we are done painting over the subject here. And if you notice, I am coloring outside the lines quite a bit. And that is just fine because the way this tool works, uh, you can paint outside the lines a little bit and then it actually works great. So let me just paint this in real quick. I'm going to start out doing the edges as you see me doing here. There we go, and now I'm gonna fill in the center here. Now, if you wanna make your brush bigger while you're doing this, you could use your bracket keys still, like I'm doing here. You just wanna make sure you're holding the click the whole time. You don't wanna release your click. And once you're done filling it in, now you can release your click. You can let go, and the software will do its thing, give it a second to figure out what it's doing. And there you go, we have removed it from the image here. Now, if you notice, I don't know if you could tell, there seems to be a little bit that got left over right here. I'm just gonna click on that to apply the same thing, and there you go. What the software did was it took the surrounding area of the image and filled in the area that you painted, uh, effectively removing the object from the image. So that's how you can go about doing that with Affinity Photo. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.